The first thing you want to do is check your sequence frame rate. Make sure it's at 15 frames per second. It can be a bit higher, so 24, 30 or 60, but it's not going to look like a vibe shake. So 15 FPS is ideal. Next, right click here, create an adjustment layer and add it on top of your first clip. These are what my clips look like at the moment without any shake at all. Next, you want to add on a shake onto the adjustment layer. And the first step is to keyframe the amplitude to 1.5 at the beginning. Just hit the stopwatch. Don't head all the way to the end of your layer, but one frame back and set the amplitude to zero. Then right click on this keyframe and ease in. Now copy down my settings. So set the frequency to 15, turn on motion blur, open up the X shake and set the randap and frequency to 60 and one. And as for the Y shake, set it to 90 and one. Ignore the Z shake, but open up the tilt shake and set the tilt wave amp to 0.10 and the tilt wave frequency to one. And this is the result. However, we need to add this onto our other clips. So just hold alt on your keyboard and click and drag it to your next clip. Make any necessary changes. So for example, if we just look at this shake, in my opinion, there is way too much motion blur and also the shake is too hard. So I'm just going to open it up and set the amplitude at the beginning to one and set the frequency to something lower like 12. Now let's take a look much better than before in fact it looks very smooth let's go for 13 frequency instead just for a little bit more of a twitch and so far it looks perfect like this if your clip is too short for example let's say half the duration of the adjustment layer all you need to do is just click on the adjustment layer and pull back the second keyframe for amplitude down to the end of the clip so just here or one frame back which i prefer to do then make a cut on the adjustment layer and you can get rid of the rest for a stronger twitch what we can do is add on some extra impact by adding on the effect s underscore blur directional this one right here however we need to just cut the adjustment layer by one frame from the end so the one with s shake just pull it to the left like that add on a single frame adjustment layer and just place it there now we can add on blur directional and copy down my settings so i would go for something like 125 and something like negative 25 for the angle this is optional but you can also change the shift however it depends on the angle of your transition so mine is moving right so i need to set it to a negative value maybe something like negative two which pushes it right if yours is moving left then you might have to do two so now we've got a twitch shake as a single frame that looks like this you can apply this method to your other shake so for example this one i can just cut it down push it to the right so we can create space for the single frame i'm just going to duplicate it and i'm going to change the angle and shift so i'm going to go for something maybe like 125 and a shift of let's go two and here's the result it works really well with the other frame that we just made if you would like to buy this project file with the clips then head over to my ko-fi which is only 219 but you get 10 percent off until the end of february just use the code vibe and make sure to read the description before buying thank you for watching peace